signing them up and going and get the money and install the equipment. This would be their job. This would be their business. So if we make this completely free and completely open, then you might have 10,000 people go out and say, I want to do this. I want to make money like this. And I've read all the material. I've trained myself. I've gotten certified. I could do this. And you don't have to pay them as a sales force. There are sales force that they're going to be paid by getting this job in the first place. So that's why this thing can expand very rapidly. And I've been very careful not to use anything that has to be developed. I don't have to develop a new computer system. I don't have to, you know, everything is generic. Everything already exists. We're using all free software. The only thing we're going to do, Project Cal is going to do, is to make it very, very easy for people to do this. Because what I've found is that if you want somebody to do something, you do it two ways. You increase the value to them. So they say, I don't care how difficult this is, I'm going to do it. Or you make it very easy. You say, hey, this is so simple, anybody could do it, so I'll do it. And the intersection of the difficult with the reward is where they do it. So we want to be up here all the time. Okay, high reward and low uh, difficulty of doing this. So we, we're going to be opening up the project right away and getting input from the community about the types of vertical markets we would be going into. Now I say a vertical market, I'm talking about an apartment house or condominium. I'm talking about hotels and restaurants. I'm talking about hospitals or schools. These are vertical markets. And we're going to get from the community ideas on different vertical markets we would go into. And then we will ask the community to go out to these vertical markets and gather product requirements. What do these vertical markets need to be satisfied? Then we will ask the community to suggest software to address these vertical markets. And when we find one vertical market that has all the software necessary to address it, then that's the vertical market we will start with first. And we will create a pilot. We will allow somebody to buy the equipment, to install it. We'll find out the issues that exist. We will fix the issues. We will document them. And then we will uh, run the pilot to make sure it's successful, to make sure that the number of thin clients that we have will be able to be supported by the server, that the person will have the proper training to do it. We'll document everything. And at the end of the pilot, we will study it, write it all up, and put all the materials out on the internet so that people can come along, look at this, and say, I can do that job. You know, I can make this money. And they will make, uh, from our calculations, they will make a very nice base salary. But if they do extra things, like give courses to their customers, so their customers know how to use the computer system better. If they sell new hardware, like printers or things like that, to their customers, then the customers will be able to, to use that and they'll make more money. If they do web pages, if they do simple programming for their customers, if they help their customers set up the software for business, all these things they can charge extra for and make even more money at this job. So they can make a very, very good salary if they work hard. We also want to tailor this towards people who are otherwise hard to employ. So single parents who have to take care of their children they should be able to run this business from their apartment house, from their apartment. And they should not have to, be, have to leave their children. If they need to have something done that they can't do, then they could hire somebody to do it. So, for example, installing new wiring or something, they could hire somebody to do that. And that's part of the business. Um, maybe the physically challenged people who find it difficult to leave their apartment because they're, they're immobile for some reason. They could also run this from their own apartment. And so we hope to be able to give jobs to the people who are very challenged to do this. From, from my 
experience and my you know, facilities of doing this, really anybody with intelligence and determination could do this job. So we hope to find people from the welfare system who have intelligence, who have determination, but they simply do not have the training they needed to do a particular job. Maybe their job was eliminated somehow. And so we want to be able to give these people jobs, as well as people who are already in the IT industry who feel that this is a job they want to do. So a lot of people say to me, oh, you'll be fought by this. You know, this, this group won't like this. This group won't like this. And I'll say, well, why? And then they say, why? And I say, well, have you thought about this? So, for example, they say, the telephone companies won't like this, or the Internet companies won't like this. And I say, why not? And they say, you'll be taking away business from them. No, I won't. I'm giving them more business than ever, the business that they haven't been able to reach these people, because the cost of selling to them is so high, it's not worth it. So now, instead of selling to 300 different people in an apartment house, the telephone company only has to sell to one person. And the sale is very simple. You know, give me so many gigabits per second, and I'll distribute it, and I'll pay you for it. And if any of my customers have a question, they ask it of me, and then I ask it of you. So no more, you know, does your mouse have to be plugged in or your computer turned on or anything. The Internet company doesn't get those questions. They get an intelligent, trained person asking them a question, which reduces their support costs. Reduced cost of sales, reduced support costs means more profit for them. So I think that, you know, telephony companies would welcome this. Likewise, people say, well, the government won't like it. I say, well, why not? I'm removing people from welfare, and I'm making them into taxpayers. And I'm not asking any money from the government to do that. What's wrong with that? So we will see. I've already talked to IBM about this project. They like it. I've talked to Intel about this project. They like it. I've talked to Itupu about it yesterday. They liked it very much. They were giving support behind it. Kasha Economa Federal, I've talked with them. They seem to like it. So we're going to try and get all these people together and figure out how we can move this project forward rapidly in the next several months. I hope at next LatinoWare, we can actually have ended one of the pilots and train people at LatinoWare how to do this job, show them an actual working system, give them the materials so they can go out and sell this to potential customers, and that they would be able to do that. At the same time, we're starting this project in Brazil. What I would like to do is to have this project uh, go into the Spanish-speaking countries. So hopefully at Latino Wear we'd be able to train people uh, in the Spanish-speaking countries to do this, have the pilot in the Spanish-speaking countries translate all the documentation to Spanish, and allow the Spanish-speaking countries to go and do this. So that's why I think that this could happen very rapidly, is because there's nothing which would slow it down. I don't have to invent a new laptop. I don't have to you know, get some type of manufacturing process in place. The thin clients already exist. Um, I have spoken with the University of Sao Paulo to design a new thin client specifically for this project. But the University of Sao Paulo would license this to any computer manufacturer who wanted to make it. So any computer manufacturer says, oh, I, you know, I'm going to lose sales for this. No, you're not. You know, just manufacture this thin client, make your sales that way. There'll still be plenty of sales of fat clients to go around, but not everybody needs a fat client. And my job is to reduce the amount of electrical utilization so that more people can have computer systems. Obrigado. Eu queria agradecer demais a, a, a colaboração com o nosso videoblog, é, dizer que você é muito bem-vindo aqui no Brasil, volte sempre, a gente adora que você venha para cá, e eu quero falar para vocês que o nosso videoblog continua, qualquer dúvida, manda e-mail para o creteu.com e a gente está aqui para 
para ajudar. Um abraço. Obrigado.